All right, I think we'll go ahead and get started. Just uh, welcome everyone. And we're going to talk about West Creek Channel Rehabilitation. This is our present, uh, community meeting before uh, we begin construction. And just so you know, everybody will be muted until uh, we get to the end, and then we'll have a chance to to unmute and uh, have questions at that time. Um, and any time along the way, you can put a comment or question into the chat, uh, and we'll address those when we get to the end of the presentation. Also, we're recording this, so the recording will be uh, up on the city website, uh, and we can we'll share that uh, as it, when it becomes available. So thanks for joining the presentation. We'll go ahead and and get started. We're looking at the West Creek Channel. Uh, this is rehabilitation. This is our pre-construction presenta presentation. So uh, myself, Mike Crenshaw is on, uh, and, and Jane Widmer is on as well. And so we'll take you through uh, the area that we'll be doing the construction as well as some of the activities that will be going on, a little bit of details about the project itself, and then we'll have time for questions here at the end. So just so everybody is aware of where we're working, we're in the sort of northeast corner of the intersection of McCart and Alta Mesa. Uh, there's a couple of creeks that run through there. Um, the downstream section, the purple area, is running from West Creek Drive downstream to about West Creek Park. There's a branch that goes under McCart that comes under to uh, West Creek Drive, and that is um, what we're calling Krause Baker Channel. And then from Alta Mesa to West Creek, we're calling that the Edge Cliff Channel. So this was really uh, three projects in the in the bond package for stormwater bonds, but this uh, was so close together and similar types of work, it made sense to gain some economy of scale there and bid it all, all one package and get one contractor to do the work. So what we'll be talking about is the types of work to be done. And uh, there's one predominant type of work that'll be done on West Creek Channel and Edge Cliff. And it'll be a little bit different. Uh, the the Kraus Baker channel is a little smaller, a little tighter workspace, and so it'll be a little different method. But we'll talk about that. The goal is to keep the the channels performing, and and we know over time things tend to deteriorate. Uh, being an open channel, there's been some erosion, and that's a natural process, of course, and it will continue. So these repairs are to help extend the the life of the channel and and the uh, improvements there and to keep uh, property and and homes safe from flooding as well so beginning the west creek channel portion from west creek drive uh, many of you are familiar with this channel along uh, there's a walking path along here this is running uh, towards north and east towards uh, west creek park and that's in the upper right hand corner of the picture. And so this portion of the channel, uh, those of you familiar with it, uh, has concrete sides. And this is again to help stabilize from erosion, et cetera. And over time, there has been some deterioration of the concrete uh, edges along this. So along this portion will be uh, repairing and stabilizing the toe of the slope of the concrete uh, bank uh, protection along the channel. And that will extend again from West Creek Drive to the north and east to the uh, West Creek Park area. The next portion is the Edge Cliff Channel. This is between Alta Mesa and again flowing uh, to the north and the east and goes under west creek drive um, this portion of the channel had similar edge erosion and deterioration taking place but it had gotten to the extent that some of the 
the bank stabilization here shown in these photos, you can see um, how extensive some of that erosion uh, began to go underneath the bank stabilization, the bank protection component. And so the, some of these uh, entire panels, we're calling them, it's highlighted here in red. Some of that is to the point that the whole panel has to be replaced. Some of it, as you can see in some of these other pictures, we'll be able to just fix the, the bottom end of it where it matches and mates with the water. And to prevent the erosion from going up underneath and undermining these panels uh, of the bank stabilization. And again, this is to protect it against um, higher flood events. These lower events tend to be the ones that can cut underneath and, and undermine, but the bank stabilization, the, the portion here we're calling for panel repair, of course, is the part that protects the entire bank. So we're, we're, we're strengthening and, and completely replacing some portions of that to help and to arrest, to stop that erosion from taking place. So that's the edge cliff channel portion. And those two uh, are pretty similar uh, the edge cliff channel and the west creek channel portion um, the the other area that is uh, near mccart closer to mccart um, actually comes underneath mccart from the park on the other side of mccart to the west of mccart um, on the east side of mccart this area has some businesses that are very close of course the apartment complex has a um, a, a, a channel protection along there side of the creek uh, what we found was the the south side of the creek along the backs of these homes um, had begun to erode as well and we think if we do something now we can prevent that from getting back to these homes uh, back fences properties etc so that flows from mccart kind of to the east a little bit to west creek drive most of that is fairly stable again there's some sections around these businesses and the backs of these homes that will be working in this area to um, do something a little bit unique and hopefully non-intrusive you can see the kraus baker channel is unique it has some undercutting and so that as these uh, areas erode underneath then the top just sort of falls off in the channel and that's a natural process that happens over time. So what we're hoping to do is to go back into uh, just inside the, the city's drainage easement and place these walls, kind of illustrated on the right, here with a, a couple of columns and a precast concrete insert that is buried and that can essentially prevent this erosion from continuing to erode back onto the private properties. Uh, where fences and utilities and things like that become threatened. And so this uh, this portion is a little bit different work, but uh, we've included it in this contract for bid again, all of these projects, very similar location, obviously, and and it just made sense to to bid them all with one contract. And so we did that um, a few months back. We have, uh, Humphrey Morton Construction Company won the construction, and they're scheduled to start in uh, early July of this year, so about a month to six weeks from now. Um, they'll be mobilizing and getting on site and beginning their work, and I believe they will work along the Edgecliff and West Creek channels initially, and then the Krause Baker Channel will be the final stage. Uh, the construction is anticipated because this is in the creek bottom, uh, in the floodplain. They'll they'll have to to be very conscientious of rainy days, and so we have about 12 months in the total schedule for all three of these sites. Um, that's 12 months total for all three. And the idea is that we have enough room in there for again rainy season and things like that that might uh, prohibit work. Uh, the construction will all be done within existing easements and right-of-way. Um, we have some agreements with 
uh, the parks department, et cetera, to use a portion of West Creek Park here at the end of uh, Genie Drive as a staging area. So the residents along Genie Drive may see some strange traffic entering at the end of, of Genie Drive, but they'll have a construction staging area there um, as well as one here off of Alta Mesa for that portion of the work as well. So. Um, those staging areas, of course, uh, the contractor will be using uh, most of the work or all of the work was being done and planned in the in the bottom of the channel. Uh, so we don't anticipate any significant uh, traffic impacts at this time. There will be potentially some temporary uh, inconveniences as they're moving equipment from one phase or side or area to the next, but that's uh, will be minor and limited as most of the work again will be done in the in the channel bottom. All roads are, will remain open uh, both directions during construction. And um, again, as we mentioned, there is some temporary construction materials, equipment staging in the area. And so there will be those areas will the contractor will maintain temporary construction fencing and protection of his staging and equipment storage areas during construction in both the park and in the area just off of uh, Alta Mesa Boulevard. So those two areas will will be sort of where they'll work from. Um, but we again, there's no significant traffic impacts anticipated at this time associated with with this project. And we have um, plenty of time for questions. At this time, I want to put up our contact information um, for the project. Myself, uh, Mike Crenshaw, and Jane as well can be contacted at, at any time. Um, the city's inspector will be sort of the city's representative boots on the ground uh, relative to the site. And so um, if you want to note these email addresses, we'll be available for questions uh, at any time. And at this time, I can open it up for questions. If anyone has any questions or would like to put any messages into the chat, uh, we can answer any questions that come up. If there's none now, of course, we're available uh, going forward for, for questions as well as construction gets started. And again, this was recorded. So this uh, short presentation will be on the city's website and can be, the link can be shared with others to, to watch in the future as well, if they're not able to attend this meeting. So that's, uh, that's all we have to present tonight on the West Creek uh, Channels Rehabilitation Project. And I'll open the floor for any questions, if any, if there are any. Well, I don't hear any questions or see anything in the chat, so that's uh, that's okay. We will be around, and if you want to snap a, a picture or something of these contacts as well, um, you can email myself or Jane. Uh, we can get get questions answered as well. And I want to thank everyone for attending this evening, our presentation, and if you uh, have any questions uh, that you saved and would like to ask uh, offline or via email, just feel free to, to email. Thank everyone for attending and have a good evening. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Jane.